Meridian High School SAD organization received a grant from Illinois Department of Transportation called, o called Operation Teen Safe Driving. So they've kind of, we've joined forces with Safe Kids of Macon County with Illinois State Police and to provide more like a peer-to-peer -peer education program where teens educate teens on the importance of buckling up, um, no texting while driving, any distractions that occur for teens on the road. This is our uh, Teen Safe Driving Week and uh, we got a $2,000 grant to spread the word of safe driving and alcohol and drugs. Uh, Meridian High School asked me to come and do an assembly, a full assembly, with all the students on the importance of not only seatbelt safety, but also what the curfew laws and the state laws are here in Illinois. So it gives me an opportunity to relate with the students on a, not on a, on a professional level, but yet not in uh, an enforcement and able to ask questions about the different laws that are out there. If you're 16, 17, or 18, you can't not even use hands-free devices while driving. So if you got that for Christmas, <laughs> hold on to it. The question is, is it illegal to drive a lawnmower in Texas? If it's on the roadway, yes. Because what happens, I will charge you with no um, registration, I was charged with no insurance and also with taxi and driving. Three strikes, you're out. Do that. Give me a hand. And the Seva Convincer is basically is what it is says in its name. We're trying to convince the kids that this is a crash they're gonna to experience today going five to seven miles per hour, and they're gonna be able to feel the crash forces on their body and then hope to educate them in the future that most crashes occur at least 30 miles per hour. We are in the schools, high schools, a lot because uh, statistics show that high schoolers feel that it's not cool to wear a proper just a seat belt or they don't think anything's going to happen because they're invincible. Shocking. I mean, you don't think, I mean, even just watching it, it doesn't look like it would have that big of an impact, but it really does. And imagine it. A hit like that, you'll be ejected from the vehicle if you're not wearing your seatbelt. I've learned to wear my seatbelt and slow down, obviously. I've, I think we've all been guilty of speeding at times, but you need to remember, you know, it's more important to be here than that meeting that can wait a couple minutes.